Hey there, I'm Becky. I'm from Japan. As you can tell, I'm just a loner. Ever since I was a little kid, I used to get teased about my appearance. Even in nursery school, people used to call me a vampire because of my pale white skin, and they pretend to be scared of me. Sometimes in the lunch hall, people would take their cartons of juices and pour them all on me. When I was covered with red sticky juice, everyone would laugh at me saying that it was blood. I didn't mind it that much because my parents had dark black hair and pale white skin too. At least I have some of my closest friends, like Nado, Lin, and Maxine. And we would have fun together all the time. I was really close with Nedo though, as he was my neighbor as well. And whenever all of us would watch horror movies on Halloween, they would keep telling me that I was their favorite vampire. <laughs> My childhood was much better, until when I started high school, things took a massive turn on me. Uh, five more minutes... Mitsu! Mitsu! Wake up now! Ugh, you're such a careless girl! Your alarm is going off! You're going to be late for school! Uh. I'll be up in five minutes, Mom. Fine, you better be ready in 15 minutes or else you're going to be late for your school. Oh, and don't miss today's breakfast, alright? Got it, Mom. How did this happen, sweetie? I don't know, Dad. It was all good last night. I don't know how it happened. Mom, please do something. Did you try watching your face a couple of times? I did, but it just doesn't seem to work at all. Oh, no. Maybe it is the same extreme acne once I suffered when I was a teenager. What? And you're telling me now? Mom, come on. What am I supposed to do now? I can't go to school like this! People will make fun of me even more! Just calm down, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be alright soon. Of course, and I have your solution. You can just wear a surgical mask to hide these acne for a month or two until it gets recovered. No one will ever find out that way. Ugh, this is ridiculous! My whole life is ruined! Mitsu, wait! Oh god, I hope nobody sees me like this. It would be so embarrassing. Oh, there they are. Oh, thank god. Hey, Vampire Squad! <laughs> huh? What's up with that look? <laughs> Lin? Why are you crying? Is everything alright? And where's Nedo? Is he sick or something? He's not sick, but his mom is. What? All of a sudden? What happened to her? Is it serious? I don't know exactly, but he sent me a text last night. They have gone abroad for her cancer's treatment, and he won't be able to be back for a year. <gasps> a year? No! How come Neto didn't tell me? I mean, I'm his neighbor! He should have just informed me! Ugh, I can't keep up with this anymore. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I got invited to hang out with the cool girls and you're kinda... a bunch of losers. So you know, now that NATO's gone, I might not be able to sit with you two at lunch today and maybe from now on. What? Maxine, is that you speaking? How can you leave us like that? Yeah, we've been friends since like childhood. How would you even end our friendship like that? <laughs> Come on, Mitsu. Don't act as if you're not obsessed with Nedo. Newsflash, Nedo likes me only. Too bad that he's gone now, so there's no reason for me to hang out with a pimply vampire and her nerdy friend. Goodbye. And there she goes. That's what she was talking about. I didn't even notice you wearing a surgical mask today. Did something happen to your face? <sighs> I guess I could show you. 
see, this terrible thing happened to me right after I woke up. And now here we are. Our squad just broke down. This is really bad. I was going to tell you about the school prom that's coming up in two weeks. Do you think it'll be alright till then? What? Prom? Which month is it? Uh, I completely forgot it's November! Gosh, I'm so pathetic! What should I do now? Hey, it's okay. I'm sure it's just temporary. Just buy yourself an acne cream and you will be just fine. Uh, I hope so. But what about Maxine now? Why didn't you try to stop her? I mean, she's still our friend, isn't she? Don't worry about it anymore, Misu. Let her be with those mean girls. I'm sure she'll learn a good lesson eventually. But we have to promise to each other, no matter what happens, we're never going to break apart. I promise. Now, come on. Let's go to class together. <laughs> sure. didn't end up so easily. For days, the mean girls, including Maxine, made fun of me for having acne. They moved on from calling me a vampire and had invented all sorts of bad new nicknames for me. Are you girls ready? Yep, all set. Huh? Hey! What are you doing to me? Uh, let go! Or else! Or else what? What are you gonna do, huh, vampire? Bite us? <laughs> Come on! I'll let you do that, sucker! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Just leave me alone! I have nothing against you girls! Well... I just want a simple picture of that pizza face of yours so I can upload it on my Instagram page. Girls get to work! Wait, no! You can't! Stop it! <laughs> Got it! Jeez, your skin is so greasy you can even fry chips on it! Do you even wash your face? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic jerks! You're so cruel! <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Misu, are you okay? <laughs> Ugh, such a crybaby. <laughs> Let's leave these two losers here. Let's go, girls! Oh, thanks for the picture, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Please stop crying. Tell me, what did they do this time? <laughs> They're always so mean to me. I... I can't handle this anymore! I'm always their victim! Hey, do you know why that is? Well, it's because they're jealous of your true beauty. Your natural beauty. And I'm not saying this to make you smile, but that is in fact very true. Misu, you're more capable than all of the girls. You're way better than all of them. It's just their insecurities which are driving them crazy. <sighs> you're right. I should stop caring about their meanest words for me. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Hey, I'm heading to my place now. Do you want to join me? We can watch some horror movies together. Woo, sounds good to me. Let's go! You are someone really special. <laughs> Lynn, stop screaming! <laughs> I scared the freak out of me. <laughs> After that day, I stopped caring about what those bullies had to say about my appearance. All I did was to stay positive and hang out with my bestie, Lin. I miss Neto so much, though. I wish he would at least come to say a proper goodbye. But I guess I just have to keep on waiting. And for the prom? Well, I had my bestie, Lin, with me. We went there as a platonic date. <laughs> Mom got me a Miracle Acne product to apply every night, and slowly, my acne completely disappeared. I was so ready to show up to school without a surgical mask. Hey, uh. 
Dude, who's that girl? Who? <gasps> Isn't that me too? What? That pepperoni face? Is that really her? I think so. How did she become so hot all of a sudden? I know, right? She looks so dreamy. Ew, what's up with your skin? Oh, you mean why it's so perfectly clear? <laughs> you're so cocky! Do you think you're going to be prom queen now just because you've removed your acne? Well, guess what? You're still a vampire! Go suck on the blood, darling! <laughs> 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 well, for your information, I don't think like that. Though, thank you so much for your time thinking about me and my problems. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta take my books. What the? Where's my ID card, prom ticket, and... <gasps> and my homework? <sighs> Don't tell me you tried to steal my stuff now! <gasps> How could you accuse me of doing something like that? Just drop the act already, Maxine! Look, if you think this is funny, then it's not! My backpack is gone along with my important stuff! Just give it back already! Misu! Oh my gosh, thank god you're here! Principal is raging mad, and he's calling you in his office right now! <laughs> Best of luck. Why is the principal not here yet? I don't know. Uh, good morning, Mr. Principal. Did you call for me? Yes, I did. Lynn, would you mind leaving the office? Oh, yeah! Sure thing, Mr. Principal! <laughs> I'll catch you later, Misu. Mm hmm. So, uh. So, where's your backpack? Wait, what backpack? The one where you have kept all of the important information papers of school. I... I don't know what you're talking about, sir. My backpack is actually lost. You see, Maxine and her minions are trying to pull a game. Listen up, Mitsu. You are one of the most intelligent students in our school, and I don't want to kick you out from this school. So either you tell me the truth, or you will have to face the consequences. <gasps> so, what's your final answer? I... I haven't done anything wrong. And if you still don't believe me, it's fine. You can suspend me. Oh, I'm not just suspending you. You are expelled. What? No, you can't do that. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything wrong. No, wait, Mr. Principal, listen to me. No! And here I am, all alone, again. <sighs> Should I tell Lynn about this? I'm sure she will get super worried if I tell her about everything. I wish I didn't get this transformation from an ugly duckling to a rival prom queen material. <sighs> Great. I can't believe it. I seriously got expelled from school just for being too pretty for everyone? How am I going to tell mom and dad about this? Hey there. What can I get for you, Matt? Huh? <gasps> Wait. N Neto? Is that really you? Oh my gosh! It's you, Mitsu! <laughs> it's been so long. And. Wow. You look. gorgeous. It seems like you got a complete transformation. From a vampire to a queen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think so? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. It's been quite long and I... I don't know how to react. Um... I hope to meet you at school. Not at my job. I had a better speech prepared. Uh-huh. And as an excuse, huh? 
<laughs> but seriously, Nado, I'm so disappointed in you. You didn't tell me anything about leaving. You could have just sent me a message or something. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. Things were in a bit of a rush, so I didn't get much time to think about other stuff. Uh, it's fine, I guess. So, how are you doing? And how is your mom now? Well... Uh, my mom is doing fine. For just now. But it's pretty usual for me. I have to say that I really miss talking to you. I tried so hard to move back to our old house, but I got so busy with my job to help my mom with medical treatment. It's okay. I understand. At least her mom is doing a bit better now. And this may not be the best moment for me to say, but I miss you a lot too, stupid. <laughs> Wait, why? What happened? Is everything okay with you and your parents? <sighs> it's jealousy. Surprisingly, Maxine is not the same anymore. She decided to join the super crazy mean girls gang and now are controlling her all over. And guess what? She got me expelled from school just because of her insecurities. Seems like she didn't want me to be this year's prom queen. That's really bad. I'll tell you what, Mitsu. I think you can prove everyone wrong. Because I know you. You're carefree, confident, and surely that's what the people want from the prom queen. A girl who just wants to be herself against all the odds. I don't know about that, but I'm just worried about everything now. I don't want to leave the school, and I want clear proof that I'm completely innocent and that I didn't do anything wrong. Well... How about we make a plan for this and teach them a good lesson? You know what? Luckily for you, we are running a catering stand at the prom. Just wear casual clothes and I'll sneak you in with me. But how? What if they recognize me? <laughs> I'm good at disguises. Don't worry about it. Just leave that job to me. And that was our plan for the day of the prom. On the day before the prom, Nero took me to his secret wardrobe room to dress me up as a catering guy. And I have to say, this guy's was perfect. I couldn't even recognize myself. And finally, our mission was about to begin. Stay with me, all right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Can I have your ID card, please? Uh, I actually don't have my ID card on me. I'm the catering guy here. Hmm. All right, and who's this individual? This, um, my girlfriend. Yeah, she just wanted to come and help me with the stuff. Mm. Uh, Alright, you guys can enter the hall. Ah, thank you very much, sir. Yes, we did it! Why did you lie to him saying that I'm your girlfriend? Uh, uh... Hello everyone, may I have your attention? We are about to reveal the winner of tonight's prom queen now. The moment that you all have been waiting for is finally here. So put your hands together because this year's prom queen award goes to... Maxine Kim! <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you all 
very much for voting me for this year's prom queen. To be honest, I think this award totally deserved me. Bruh, stop kidding yourself. Anyways, it's my time to shine. Just keep watching. And I can't be any more thankful to Mr. Huh? <gasps> OMG! It's you, Nedo! Hi, you're finally here! I can't believe you came all the way here just to congratulate me on my victory! Everyone, this is Nedo. Looks like he showed up just in time to be my date! Well, I did bring you a little gift. OMG! Really? A gift? What is it? Show me! Show me! Here you go. Uh... Donut? <laughs> Just wait till you taste that disgusting donut filled with extra jam and a lot of salt and some sugar. <laughs> Consider this karma for all the times you've poured cranberry juice on me, calling me a creepy vampire, and doing all those terrible things at me. Enjoy your meal now. <sighs> well, it doesn't matter if it's a gift from my love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ew, what is this taste? Oh, it's too salty. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> That's what you get for messing up with my friend. Who's the vampire now, huh? Do you think you're supposed to be the one sucking up all the positive energy from the crowd, Maxine? That's what you get for getting me expelled from school. Yes, it's me, everyone. I'm Mitsu, the one who got expelled for doing nothing. Trust me, it was all her doing so that she could get me kicked out. We don't want you as a prom queen! <gasps> Just for the record, Mitsu is my date for the prom tonight, and I would love to dress up as a vampire king for my vampire queen. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mitsu. I love you too, Nado.